Welcome to other exploration with Geoland. Imagine a giant statue towering over a harbor so big that ships could sail between its legs. That's the Colossus of Rhodes, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. But was it really built like that? And what other crazy secrets does this wonder hold? Buckle up, history buffs, because we are about to unravel the truth behind the classes of Rhodes. The Classes of Rhodes, a wonder cut show. Towering over the ancient harbor of Rhodes, the Classes of Rhodes stood as a testament to human ingenuity and resilience. This colossal statue of sun god Helios wasn't just a marvel of engineering, it was a symbol of victory, pride, and the island's unwavering spirit. Though its existence was tragically short-lived, the classes of Rhodes continues to capture our imagination as a testament to a bygone era, born from the fires of war. The story of the classes begins in 305 before Christ. Rhodes as a strategic island nation known for its maritime prowess found itself under siege by Demetrius I of Macedon. This powerful ruler, fueled by ambitions to expand his empire, launched a brutal year-long assault on the island. The Rhodians, however, refused to yield. They valiantly defended their city, employing cunning tactics and innovative weaponry to thwart Demetrius' forces. Finally defeated and frustrated, Demetrius abandoned the siege, leaving behind a massive amount of siege equipment. This unwanted bounty presented the Rhodians with an opportunity. Inspired by their hard-won victory, they decided to use the spoils of war to create something magnificent, a monument that would forever commemorate their triumph and unwavering devotion to their patron god Helios. A monumental feat. The task of constructing the classes fell upon Charles of Lindes, a celebrated sculptor and a student of the renowned Lysippos. The project was ambitious, unlike anything ever attempted before. The statue was envisioned to be staggering 70 cubits tall, which translates to roughly 33 meters, nearly the height of the Statue of Liberty today. Charles devised an ingenious construction method. A framework of iron was built, upon which bronze plates painstakingly shaped and molded were affixed. The construction process was a logistical marvel. Materials were meticulously transported, hoisted to great heights, and meticulously assembled. Skilled metal workers, engineers, and laborers toiled for over 12 years to bring this colossal vision to life. A beacon of glory. When the Colossus was finally unveiled around 280 before Christ, it must have been a sight to behold. Towering over the harbor entrance, the golden bronze gleamed in the Mediterranean sun. Ancient descriptions depict Helios as a nude or semi-nude figure, holding a torch aloft or perhaps shielding his eyes from the sun's brilliance. This magnificent statue served a dual purpose, a powerful symbol of the Rhodian victory and a beacon that guided ships safely into the harbor. News of the classes spread far and wide. Travelers flocked to Rhodes to marvel at this engineering marvel. It earned a coveted place among the seven wonders of the ancient world, alongside other awe-inspiring creations like the Hanging Gardens of Babylon and the Great Pyramid of Giza. The Colossus became a symbol not just of Rhodes' power and resilience, but also of human ambition and artistic achievement. A short-lived wonder. Sadly, the Colossus' reign as a wonder was tragically brief. In 200 before Christ, a devastating earthquake struck Rhodes, toppling the magnificent statue. The once proud figure lay in shattered pieces, scattered across the harbor floor. 
an oracle of Delphi reportedly advised the Rhodians against rebuilding the classes, and so it remained a testament to both grandeur and fragility. A Legacy of Wonder Though the classes itself is long gone, its legacy endures. The shattered remains of the statue are said to have been left untouched for over a thousand years. A constant reminder of the city's glorious past. The classes continues to inspire artists and sculptors, with numerous depictions gracing everything from ancient coins to modern paintings. The story of the classes of Rhodes offers a glimpse into the remarkable engineering and artistic achievements of the ancient world. It serves as a reminder of the power of human resilience and the enduring desire to create something awe-inspiring that transcends time. Even in its demise, the classes continues to capture our imagination, reminding us of the impermanence of even the grandest creation and the enduring power of human ambition. The classes of Rhodes truly was a wonder, even in its shattered state, but history is full of incredible stories waiting to be explored. If you enjoyed this journey into the past, hit that like button and subscribe for more.